Hey guys, thank you for checking out Retron again. We are going to talk to this priest and see what's going on. If you guys remember from the last video, uh, we had a visit from a divine messenger. I think it was actually this um, lovely lady herself. So let's see what the priest will say to us. He better give us good things. Another year, another successful scare marriage. Praise be, be to the goddess. So I can't help, help but wonder what that whole episode was all about. You know, you'd think he'd be like a little more like, oh yeah, you know, you know the goddess uh, gave us a visit. You know, that's totally normal. I have resided over many years worth of ceremonies, ceremonies and I've never seen anything remotely like it. Like, I wonder if he, this guy didn't, like, believe in his own religion until this point. Like, the mountains here certainly seem to have an important message for you, my child. Perhaps her words meant something to you that the rest of us were unable to fathom. Uh, yeah. Hmm, what's that, my child? You say you had a strange dream earlier? You were in an unknown place with a pair of companions fighting against some sort of terrible monster? Hmm, surely the goddess wouldn't allow such misfortune. Now, not with the peace we enjoy today. But it's all... It's all an illusion. Okay, ah, he's still going to say that? Oh, uh, I wanted to try to save, but... Whatever. No. Ah, oh, well, there's no fretting over it now. Go, my child, and join the others in the revelry. Okay. So I guess they're going to go to a party. Oh, fireworks. So, um, yeah, we've got a little action here. Ha ha, I picked the wrong night to quit drinking, heck. <laughs> Why the long face, Jimbobo? It's a special night, heck. Live a little. The old man here tells me you went off to some otherworldly other world. It's just one thing or another today, huh? I just hope nothing bad's going to happen. Between tales of some monster trying to take over the world, and now this, I don't know what to think anymore. Evening, Jim Bobo. Sorry I doubted you this afternoon. The more I think about it, the more I'm certain you paid a visit to the Phantom Realm. By way I figure it, you're on a mission from our mountain spirit. I reckon she wants you to unlock the realm's riddles. That guy's very knowledgeable. <laughs> every, every time you find a drunk person, a firework goes off. <laughs> oh, I guess this guy's not drunk. Yeah, what a sight. No better way to see the fireworks than from a worm's eye view. Oh, by the way, Mayor Spindle told me to point you in his direction if I saw you. Probably wants to talk to you about our, our messenger's kooky speech, I reckon. I don't know why I have to break these. I already opened them. Hey, let's chat, chat and more dancing. Round and round we go, where we stop and only the goddess knows. Yeah, she's drunk too. Mind doing me a favor, Hick, and stopping the world from spinning? Love you, man, Hick. Yeah, well, I guess they just randomly do the fireworks. That guy was drunk and we didn't get any. Come on, join in, don't be shy. Yeehaw, this is what I call a barn burner, you bet you. Barn burner, man. Doesn't sound good at all. 
Haha, ha, I'm having so much fun, it's like a dream. Pinch me. Sure. Shh, why? They're getting to the good part. Ew. <laughs> That's just very creepy. I know I said ew like a teenage girl, but... Yeah, it's just creepy. This is even worse. Like, he's implicating me in it. So, uh, have you thought it over? You know, us getting hitched and all? I'm sorry. I just... I'm not ready. Burn. What? Are you worried about that we're too young? I'm 17 and you turned 16 this year. We're plenty mature. I didn't get married till I was 30. <laughs> oh man. It's not that, buddy. I just... I don't know. It's like, I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, I think when someone, like, gets possessed by a mountain spirit, you might want to hold off on the, uh, marriage proposals for, like, a day or two. You know, just saying. What are you saying, Tanya? What's not to know about yourself? I'm sorry, I just don't know. I just don't know about the world. I don't know about myself. I... I need more time to figure stuff out, okay? Okay? I have to go. Wah, wah, wah. He's gonna jump. Come on, Tanya. No one really knows who they are. I know who I are. Oh, shooting star, he totally missed that too. He could have made a wish. Like, he could wish not to be a wimp. Did you see that? Ouch, that was some tough love right there. I hope I can find a girl like that for myself someday. What? <laughs> like a girl that will dump you? I guess she didn't dump him, like she just... You know, was like, I need some time to think, but... No, oh, hey, it's kind of not what Buddy was looking for in the way of answers. Steal this shit, dude. He's not gonna steal it. <laughs> Wonder if anyone's in here. Empty. Someone up here. Phew. Next year, I'll hire some help for the feast. I can barely lift my arms. Why aren't you out dancing, Jimbobo? You had enough? Hell yeah. You had such a great moves. Maybe you're in the mood for something else. Patty cake, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, I'll take some patty cake. Haha, <laughs> come on, Jimbo. I'm just kidding. You're not five, year old, <laughs> five years old anymore. I thought patty cake meant something else, but what abs? We'll talk to is this Judith? Of all the nerve, I can't find Buddy anywhere. He's hiding from me. I just know it. Now people are getting like burned left and right here. You, know, you need to start selling the burn ointment. Get some burn ointment from the uh, from the general store for all these uh, suckers. A few, a few. Well, wow, check out the fireworks. A few, a few. I guess they mean pew pew. I a few, a few. Like what did I say about this translation being good? Nah, it's it's pretty good overall. Hey Jim Bobo, tonight was so weird. I suddenly blacked out and that's all I remember. People are mumbling about how the mountain spirit possessed me, but I don't know. That just sounds silly. 
At least you always know what the cat will say. And here we have the mayor. Kind of you to stop by, my boy. I understand you paid a visit to this phantom realm earlier. Okay, sorry about that. We had a minor disruption. But I am back with some more DQ6. So, we did have a visit from the phantom realm. That is correct, Mayor Spindle. Between that and the little speech you received at the ceremony, I'd say you're in a rather special situation here, Jimbobo. Well, who am I to stand in the way of destiny? I'll give you special permission to leave the village. You give me permission to leave the village? Who do you think you are? Mayor or something? Here, take this. It's an entry pass into Somnia Castle. Jimbobo receives the entry pass. Yay! Yay! Jimbobo acquires the What? It's a little redundant. Take that to Somnia, and you might just get yourself an audience with King Somnus. You're 17 years old now, lad. It's high of time you start paving your own destiny, you betcha. When you stand before a crossroads, my boy. Choose your path and make us proud. So it looks like we can uh, find Somnia Castle and do a little little traveling. Maybe uh, find out what's uh, what's going on with these um, these uh, dreams and stuff we're having. These invisible phantom lands. Oh, welcome back, Jimbobo. Playing the divine messenger all night sure takes a lot out of you. Are you turning in too, Jimbobo? Yeah, why not? Alrighty, good night then. Well, this is my neighborhood, and, like, on the whole week of Independence Day. They shoot off fireworks all night, all week. And the Fortune Festival continued deep into the night. The villagers of Weaver's Peak sung, danced, and lost themselves in the excitement of the celebration. The morning came, and they were all dead. That might be a little too dark for this game, actually. Oh, you're finally up. I was wondering how long you'd sleep, Jimbo Bao. I shook you and shook you, but you wouldn't budge. You must have been dead tired. I was. Spindle told me the news. First Haggleton and now Somnia Castle. You're really getting around. I bet you King Somnus will teach you all sorts of stuff about the world once you meet him. It's a scary place out there. Between the dread fiend and his this phantom realm, I don't know what to be more afraid of. So I guess that's probably why she didn't really feel like getting married <laughs> last night. Something terrible is going to happen soon unless somebody gets to the bottom of these mysteries. Uh, that's your cue, Jimbobo, so don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come back in one piece, okay? It's your brotherly duty. Yep. Bye later. Let's see, maybe she'll give us something. No, she just gives us more of the same text. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I guess we'll explore the town a little bit. Let's see if people say anything new. I kind of don't want to waste your guys' time. But at the same time, I don't know if anything interesting will happen if I talk to these people, so we'll give them a little chit-chat. 
Al, Al, I think I sprained everything. What was I thinking, dancing crazy like that? Hi there, Jim Bobo. Mighty fine weather, eh? Yesterday's fortune festival was really something, but it's never too early to start preparing for next year's. Oh, man. Jim Bobo peers into the well. There's that thing. <laughs> bad, bad sea slime. Okay. Okay, so we will... Man, those puns. Those puns are brutal. Morning, Jim Bobo. The mayor's holed up inside if you need him. Okay, and he's going to say that again. If this were Exodus, or Ultimate Exodus, you could attack him. In that game, you could attack anything. And I would like to attack that guy. Well, my boy, I suppose this will be goodbye for a little while, eh? It's directly south of the mountain. Just keep heading that way and you'll run right into it. Easy as that. Getting an audience with the king might not be such a breeze, but if anyone can manage it, it's you, Jimbobo. Oh, and one more thing. I forgot to ask you for the change left over from buying that crown. You motherfucker. Ah, uh, I'm only teasing you. Ah, uh, see, they got us. They got us. They, the, they got those jokes, I'll tell you. You'll be needing a lot more than we will, that's for sure. Consider it a going away gift. You stand before a crossroads, my boy. Choose your path and make us proud. Okay, well, that's cool. Buddy never did give me that pendant, you know. What could be more awful than that? Nothing, that's what. Next time I see him, I'm dumping him like yesterday's chamber pot. Ooh. Ooh, harsh. Harsh words. Now, uh, even though she has the personality of a reptile, she is the mayor's daughter, so I don't know what Buddy's thinking. Yeah, that's just me. Hey, Jim Bobo, I hear the mayor gave you an entry pass. You know what I'd do with that? I'd make a fortune abroad and then come back wearing a gold monocle and a diamond studded fedora. And I'll get out there and make it happen. Oh, okay. I like your style, kid. Ah, oh, more graffiti. More graffiti. Ack. Again. Jim Bobo examines the graffiti on the wall. But he's a wimp. I mean, it would have been funny if they did something more with that, like it said Jim Bobo is a wimp or something. Uh, haha. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to Weaver's Peak. Is that like his job? Just to like, meet people? Even though they live here? Isn't it a big city like Somni? It'll be a real culture shock. Heck, I bet your folks there don't even use like words like betcha. Yeah, this is like Canada or something. I did go, um, I did visit Canada a few years back when it was, uh, I actually went to Niagara, Niagara Falls, and it was a very lovely place. Very nice people. Ah, what a night. I think I had fun, right? Ah, Jim Bobo, you're the one who saw the Phantom Realm, huh? Between that and our little lecture from the Mountain Spirit, I reckon you really are the chosen one. Lucky you. Oh, poor chosen. I, you know, I would just, this is nothing against this game. I would love to play, this is like one RPG, you not the chosen one. Um, it's like every RPG, you're the chosen one. Every one of them. Um, if one day I will, I will definitely cover it. There's a game called Bard's Tale on the PlayStation 2 and it's hilarious. And they make fun of the Chosen One trope. And it's brutal. <laughs> and very funny. 
Move those fingers. Quit slouching. You want that stuff to sell, don't you? Weave, weave, weave. Ooh, how much did that cost I wove go for at the bazaar? Someone actually paid real gold for it? Yeah. Really? Maybe I'm cut out for this weaving work after all. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot here. We'll, we'll, we'll explore it. Why not? And then we'll end the video. And then we will have some action and fighting in the next vid. No doubt about that is the Phantom Realm you saw, Jimbobo. I bet my beard on it. Hope you have what it takes to get our get to the bottom of this of all this for us. Our mountain suit seems to think you do. I hear you leaving the village, yeah? Well done. Well well oh my god, I'm getting tongue twisted. Well, don't worry about nothing. Tanya will be fine. She's in good hands with us. We'll make sure nobody messes with her. Oh, hey there, Jimbobo. Say, have you seen Buddy around anywhere? He's been gone this, since this morning. I hope nothing happened to him last night. Yeah, I think he might have jumped off that mountain. Oh, well. How goes it, Jimbobo? You looking for Buddy? He went off somewhere this morning. Haven't seen him since. Yeah, he went off the mountain. And let's see. Uh, we talked to that fabulous here. And we'll go check this out. Give us free stuff. I'm the hero. No? Okay. Um, and church. Old guy in the shop. I think we explored everything here. And not much came of it, but you know what? It's life. Um, we'll end this episode because I'm sure it's plenty long. We'll talk to the nun here. So I imagine you'll be on your way shortly, Jim Bobo. You'll want to head south to reach Somni and you just keep walking, and you'll get there in no time. But do be careful, my child. I'm certain our mountain spirit's blessing will guide you down the right path. So I think I was conflating the goddess and the mountain spirit, but... Oh well, who cares? I'm not conflating, I was confusing the two. Inflation's different. So it's flatulence. But anyway. We'll save the game. And thank you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, having a blast playing this. Uh, for, sorry these last couple episodes didn't have any action whatsoever. But hey, a little bit of plot development never hurt anyone. One nice thing about these RPGs is you can talk about them, blather, and react to the stuff and have fun. So. We're going to wrap this up here in next episode. I'm sure there will be some fighting, there will be some action, there will be some enemies. There will be more wimps and buddies and things like that and mountain spirits. So thank you so much guys. I will be back. And until next time, good luck and happy gaming.